Yeah, I, I think I've already mentioned before, I really love the third one. Like, they really had, like, they knocked the ball out of the park on this one. Oh, yeah, they really went all out for this game. Yeah, like, most people, like, they mostly prefer Sonic 2 because they actually had, a, like, they fixed up a lot of the formula that the first one had. God damn it, I lost my water barrier. But the third one is, there's so much more going on. Oh, yeah. I also, um... Was... I, I actually grew up playing the first one, uh, not the first one, the second one, a lot. Get off of me! But I... I didn't even get a chance to play the third one, sadly. Ah. But it's mainly because my Fucking dad never hell. played it. My dad was the gamer amongst us before I came in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. My dad was the gamer comparison to the rest of the family. Oh, it so sucks to be Tails right now. Oh, no! Oh, wait. Yeah, it still sucks to be Tails right now. Poor Tails! <laughs> <laughs> he drowned. And I mean, I mean, Tails was how I got my username, but it's still funny to make fun of him. Oh, god damn it, go back! Those damn backfiring springs! Sorry. <laughs> the way you said it like that. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can actually get a Chaos Emerald this time. Unlike the other two, this, uh, this bonus round is a lot more fair. It's frustrating, yes, but that's obviously part of the challenge. Like, I don't have any problems going through these. And attempted to yeah. collect Chaos Emeralds. It's the other two, like, especially the second one. Like, that one was the worst. Because while you have to collect a certain amount of rings while going through a half pipe, there's a delay response on Tails, and if Tails gets hit by the spike balls, <laughs> you'll lose your rings. So you're very, very quick to lose um, your chance of succeeding and getting a Chaos Emerald. And I don't like going solo either. I like the charm of having Tails follow along with. Oh, yeah. So, that's why I don't have an issue with the bonus game in the third one. I think they um, they tackle the damn properly. I mean, yeah, it speeds up faster, and you ha like it gets nerve-wracking. But again, that's just part... What did he say? Alright, oh, no! Oh, damn it. Pickle bread. Wow! Wow! Seriously? <laughs> So, Golden wow. Fox, have a spring in your step? Jesus. What is with you guys today? Are you that bored? You yeah. act like this is nothing new. or You act like this is new. It's always been around. <laughs> Fair point. Uh, By the way, who left off that belch? That was okay. me. Ah, okay. Belching is how I vent my frustration. <laughs> Get a wrath of what I had for lunch today. Oh god. <laughs> this is fitting because I just ha I had pizza for lunch today. Yeah! Thank you for the help, Tails. I don't think I. No way I did. I had a bowl of cheese and that was the extent of my lunch. <clears throat> so if your Tails is Keyframe Cream the Rabbit. Keyframe was nowhere near Cream the Rabbit. If I. Go if ahead. anything, key is Sticks the Badger. Sticks the Badger? <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah. He From Sonic a... Boom. Okay, yeah. I have not watched Sonic Boom. I know that it has a like a self-aware, uh, like charm of being self-aware, but yeah, that's pretty funny too. It, it's, it's probably one of those. Funny. It's probably one of those occasions where like this show does much better justice than it's what it's based on, which is kind of sad. Basically. Basically, Sticks is a fourth wall breaking, tinfoil hat wearing badger. Okay, then. I'll have Voiced to look by, into that. Voiced by Nika Fuderman. Nice. Okay. Here we go, act two. Yeehaw! Rock and roll! She's an amazing voice actress. My favorite role of hers is Luna from The Loud House. Okay, now I know. Down the slope. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
shit. Oh, 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 there we go. On the surface. Woohoo! Yay! You I also love the music. The go ahead. Go ahead, Joey. You had all but one job, and look what happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? I don't want that. I also like the music. Like, I actually love the music in most of the game, but I also love the stage uh, music in this one. Uh, when it when it comes to Act Two, there's a lot more happening. It's a lot more fast paced. It's a lot more adrenaline pumping. It's got that nice oh, yeah. jazzy feel still. Yep, ready to rock and roll. Woohoo! Popped him cherries. We. There's the, the I'm gonna say it. Giggity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't regret saying it. I don't get it. It's more fitting to Sonic the Hedgehog as the char as the characters, basically. Mm. Oh no! Oh, that platform blocked me. God damn it! Whoa, Jesus! <laughs> Fucking bounced like crazy from one of those little televisions. I'll kiss my ass. I can't bounce on these things. Whatever. Top Big Boss said Sonic Mania did the zone, did this zone all the justice. That's true. Oh, yeah, no, Sonic Mania did a lot of justice with a lot of stages that we're familiar with. I would have loved to have seen their version of um, Ice Cap Zone, but they don't have it. Aww. Yeah. But even putting that aside, Sonic Mania is, like, easily, like, one of the best Sonic fan games out there. And I call it that because it was from a different team that Sega gave them the permission to, um, to make. Yeah, yeah, what was the company name again? I don't remember. All I know is that it had a lot of people who um, were involved with like game design and they were big fans of Sonic. Yeah, eat that Eggman. Yeah. <laughs> Have a taste of my spike! <laughs> <laughs> that's what I used. That's something that I would. I always thought of saying every time when I played the games. I always say that to him. Eat my spice, you jerk! <laughs> Eat my spice? Spike. Oh. The Sonic's got quills. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Uh, this stage can be a little frustrating. Not as frustrating as Carnival Night Zone. Most people take issue with Carnival Night Zone because of, um, you know, the, the stupid barrel. But just the right. stage itself is so claustrophobic. It's all cramped. It does have its issues. Yeah. That's one stage I never want to revisit. <laughs> like, I don't even, like, even if there were to, like, there were to be a, like, Sonic Mania sequel, I would not care if, like, they were to try to do any justice to Carnival Night Zone. I just, I just hated that stage in general. It's just too cramped and everything. A lot of the, a lot of the uh, carnival or and the casino related gate levels were usually a pain in the butt. Especially, at I least, at least Casino Night Zone had some like fun little like rewards off of it. Like they had little slot machines and such. Carnival Night Zone was just a fucking joke. I hated yeah. it. The state, okay, so any stages in this game that I actually truly hate. Carnival Night Zone and um, Sandopolis Zone, because Sandopolis Zone just drags on. Oof. Lava Reef Zone, it's, I can forgive it, because at least they had some good, like, aside from the, you know, the quote-unquote good music, mm -hmm. the only thing I can forgive it off of is that it's still pretty well paced. Sandopolis, you have to do, like, some unusual cryptic shit. And you have to deal with some really creepy shit, too. Like, in part two, you have to deal with, like, these creepy ghosts. And you have to deal with their shit because of what Eggman did. Oh, God! Shit! I did not move fast enough. I got fucking clobbered. A spitting, like... Ow, yeah. No! Ah! Oh, damn it! Alright, get over here. Drop! 
shooting off like a bullet. Flying battery zone. Flying oh, battery like zone. A okay, I've been hearing a lot of hatred over that. Just, yeah, you're going to have to take your time over that, but it's really not that big of a deal. You just have to be patient with that one. And it, it like, yep. it still does not drag on as much as Zandopla Zone. Which, funny enough, is the following stale, like, what follows after Flying Battery. Um, Retro Gamer was, like, mentioning, like, the music for that level, though, so... Oh, I fucking love the music for Flying Battery Zone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, but for any of the stages that are my favorites in this game, uh, Hydrocity Zone, which we just went through, because I just oh, yeah. love Act 2 when you go through all those crazy loops. It's so much fun. Um, <laughs> Ice Cap Zone, everybody likes Ice Cap Zone. Oh, yeah, it's pretty. Well, also the fucking music. Oh, yeah. I've always been a sucker for the, like, ice theme. Oh, no! Oh, Oh yeah, no. So there's always something. There's always something fun and magical about playing uh, stages relating to uh, snow and ice. Not all the time, though. Um, there are a few exceptions to that rule, yes. Yeah, and to me, Hydrocity Zone is one of those stages that are an exception to the rule of like all water stages are bad because you're dealing with oh, like yeah. slow movement and shit. But part like, again, Act Two is just so fast paced, and I love it. Okay, uh, at least the the water stage from this game is not as bad as the water temple. <laughs> oh yeah, no, nobody likes the fucking water temple. The majority of the water temples, honestly, there's like only one water temple that ended up turning that actually was good, and not as like overly frustrating to a lot of people. And what's I that? Think I scratch that. I think there, I think there was two of them. Okay, the first one is from Twilight Princess. The Lake Bed Temple was actually not. Oh no! Fun. Other way, other way, other way! Jesus, I'm gonna get crushed! Move! Look out! Yeah, no, when it comes to the like the second act of this stage, there's some parts where like the ground kinda like closes into each other and you have to haul ass. Oh yeah, 